you mind to comment on that real quick? Sure. Um, relative to the gas tax increase, there is a resolution in NAWACA before NAWACA, and it will be voted on in the full board on Friday okay. to support the congressional bill, which is a 15 cents a gallon gas tax increase. And so well, that, that has not been voted on. No, it's going to be a voted on. I mean, unlike what you wrote in the paper, you said it was voted on. It was not voted on. It was on. voted on the governance committee. It was voted, it was voted to on put the on the, the agenda. Committee. A little bit different than it's voted on and approved out of the governance committee. I have the record of that. Well, and it's it will not. Be, you're you're wrong be, on that. It'll be take. Okay, it's going to be taken to um, the board this Friday for consideration. The full board. What's that? The full board. The full board. Right. That's what I'm saying the full board this Friday to consider that resolution to approve it. Now that's not voting for the gas tax, it's voting for the approval to support what Congress is doing to increase our gas tax by 15 cents a gallon. Well there's for a lot of people work, against that. In my opinion, that is a tax on the poor and middle class most because they're the least that can afford it and it will, if approved, will increase the cost of everything. So this is an inflationary move on the part of yet NAWACA is supporting or considering that resolution to vote to approve it. Dave Joyce is the person we should talk to about that because that's actually in Congress right now being considered. You can hear a lot of press about this. They've uh, considered various options to extend that beyond the election in November because they don't want to raise taxes in an election year kind of a thing. And so they're considering all kinds of options. But that's something that you can look into and talk to Dave about. If you don't agree with it, Dave is the person to talk to about that because you know well, we should be voting to oppose it if you don't agree with the tax increase. And I only bring it up <coughs> to make you aware that this Friday the NOACA board is voting, and that will probably pass because the majority of the board is in support of that gas tax increase. But why would they be? Well, I, I, I don't, I don't know if you're you're correct on that. Mm -hmm. That that is a resolution only, and it's certainly I don't think it's supported by everybody. I disagree with that. There's quite a few people who don't. Maybe I mean, right that's there. certainly up to all those various five counties in the city of Cleveland to, to decide they want to support it, but it doesn't put it in place. Who's ultimately going to, going to, going to, you know, Congress support it? Or who's ultimately going to win the prize on this gas tax? Well, what those do you mean by the no, I, I understand that, but I'm not. saying. So what's the advantage here? I mean, when is it? When is enough enough? When, when do we? Well, here's here's the big question. If you talk to Joe Cattell, that there, and, and I had a conversation yesterday with some folks in the WACA, representing WACA. There has been no discussion about the shortfall. We're not talking about how much money is needed. There, there is this all these proclamations that we need to raise more money because we have a shortfall. Well, what is the shortfall? No they have put, put a case on the table to show what the shortfall is, and if there is a shortfall, let's and, and I don't believe that there is, but hypothetically, let's go with that and say that there is a shortfall. Is the best answer having a tax raised at the federal government or having a tax raised at the state level or at the local level? There is no logical, rational conversation taking place as to how best solve the problem. It is just this. You know, so if you be a problem in the, in the, the problem asset, there has been an asset per, uh, document put together from the walk for the five county regions for all the major roads and bridges, and there isn't enough money to handle it. That has been put out. That is out there. But, but and, and part of that problem respect, too, if there is a shortfall, Skip, hold on a second. But, but here's the I'm problem, also, Mary. That's not a, is that is that I, I'm sorry, but but there's a shortfall because we keep on throwing money away on projects that don't make sense. Well, why don't you when when when, uh, when Myron Package comes here because they get 28 Man. cents of the money. And, and the federal government gets 19, and they get back 10. They get back about 10. Let them explain disputing. where that money is going. Right, but it's just like it's just like the Chardon issue with this bike trail. That was money that that was earmarked by the by the federal government that was going to be spent at that. And I, I'm not here to I, I'm not here to start to regurgitate old business or old news or or to ruin anybody's day. But it's exactly this: is that everybody pays the price for bad decisions. And, and and ultimately, it's just like this. We've got a bike trail. How many people are on that bike trail right now in this rainstorm? Well, Not too many, but there's people on roads trying to get to their jobs. We keep pissing money away and, 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 and throwing it at stuff that has nothing to do with nothing. And it's like, you know something? We need to refocus on the stuff that's important. Not this, not this, not these frills right now. 
Well, you, you need to go to your federal yeah, legislators. Say, uh, you need to go to Dave Joyce. You need to talk to well, your federal here's legislators. Here's the thing, though. Those you are the people who vote for that, you, you voted for that bike trail, too. You, you wouldn't second my motion to go ahead to say no to yeah. it, you know? So it just it comes down to is, is, is you're talking out of both sides of your mouth, and I'm not a person attacking you, but I'm very passionate about this because of the fact that it comes to the end of the day where we are running out of money to put right. money where we need it. And we keep on having this feel-good lifestyle that everybody needs to feel good about this or feel good about that. It comes down to basics. People need to focus on what's important, and it's just frustrating. So, okay, well, the other part, part of that is too bad. I have. I went down to Nowak and I tried to make a motion in front of the whole board to basically. But Nowak is not David. Nowak is not the I, federal I have, government. I, I have discussed this with them. Okay, that's, that's all I, I'm saying. I, I, is the amount of money that has been earmarked for bike trails and, and alternate paths of transportation, like buggy trails, buggy. Side, it, it's a small. It's about one percent of the cash. Flow. It is a small portion. It's a very but... small portion. So when you're looking at that, the idea of Chardons was to produ to help their economic development for their city, to enhance their city, to bring in more businesses, and this is part of what they had wanted to do. They had sponsored that. We do not. We did not sponsor that program. It was sponsored by the city of Cleveland. I understand, Mayor. Sure. It just, it's just, it's a snowball that just keeps on growing and growing. I mean, it goes from wow. going from from them getting a huge grant for a bike trail to yeah. us basically giving a, a piece of property that was of, of who knows how much value for a dollar to you know losing how much money to the grant. It's like when does it stop? This county does not just have Chardon residents in it; it has everybody in it. And it's like it's just it's one of those deals where it's like. We need to re we need to reclassify. We're county commissioners, not Chardon commissioners. We're we and, and, and we have to look out for the best interest of everybody in this county. You know, there's people in in Bainbridge. There's two two Thompson and Montville on the other end, and it's just it's frustrating, and it's just it's hard. It's 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 hard to to sit here and just listen to this stuff, and and you know, if you get taxed another fifteen percent. What does that do? It only hurts businesses that much more because now you're fuel taxes for shipments that go up you're uh, across the board what has gas increase done to America it has killed killed commerce in America because of that you know so now we add a mandate another 15% and what is that going to do for businesses it just